Uh, dear friends of Love for Volleyball, Amor por el Volleyball, um, I have the pleasure and the honor to talk today with a former volleyball player from Bulgaria um, with immense experience in courts on courts around the world. I mean Evgeny Ivanov, who uh, will talk with me today about his volleyball life. Hello, Evgeny. How are you? Hello, Alfredo. Thanks. Uh, thanks very well. <laughs> Impressive words about myself. Uh, <laughs> I really... Some, sometimes I realize uh, how how rich was my my career in the volleyball, but uh, I have to 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 heard from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! And and please tell me, Evgeny, first of all, why and when did you start playing volleyball? And why you choose volleyball as a sport? Uh, it's an interesting story. Uh, as a child, uh, I was a very very wake up uh, wake child. Uh, I used to try many sports, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one day uh, <laughs> we was in the, in the um, schoolyard, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we playing football with friends of mine. And um, one man come to me, just ask me, "How old are you?" I say, "I'm uh, four degrees." Uh, How tall are you? I don't remember, but I was <laughs> tall enough. <laughs> and he was, "Oh, you should play volleyball." I said, no, 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 we play now football. Said, no, you are not for football, you are for volleyball. <laughs> take your take your bag. I, I, I grab my bag and he bring me to the to the volleyball hall. Mm -hmm. And this was the start of my career <laughs> as a volleyball player. Uh, I can say that it was very, very impressive for me because volleyball is a very technical sport. Yes. And you need a and you need a lot of time to to, to, to catch up, to, to feel, to, to, to see uh, the results of your, of your efforts. Mm -hmm. So maybe after a month, uh, I was not, uh, volleyball is not for me, uh, it's not interesting for me. But uh, somehow he, 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 he kept me on the, on the volleyball hall. And uh, this was maybe the best uh, luck that I have in my life because mm. then after the volleyball become my my profession and give me everything that I that I have at this moment. Impressive, I, I understand. And in, the, in this time, did you know about Bulgarian volleyball? Because Bulgaria has always been a very um, important uh, sport and you have a re, a, as a country achieved many, many things. The, the, the silver medal in Moscow and many other uh, important uh, uh, medals in, in history. From the beginning, I, 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 I didn't know a lot of, uh, of Bulgarian volleyball. Mm -hmm. But uh, then after, uh, when we start to go to, the, to some tournaments, to, to, to have some uh, matches, um, I, I start to learn, I start to understand how, mm -hmm. how successful is volleyball in Bulgaria this time. Mm -hmm. And then maybe another interesting story. Um, one day we, we were in the, in the hall, Mm -hmm. uh, helping the, we were the the ball kids okay and um during the very very important game i think it was the final of the cup of bulgaria uh, between the two best teams in this time levski and csk mm -hmm. uh, and i get to the court to clean up uh, and i was very very excited and uh, nervous mm -hmm. uh, i clean and I go to run to, to my place and I hit Borislav Joseph, one okay. of the biggest yes. players in, in, in our history. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hit him <laughs> and he was like, hey, small one, get out of here. <laughs> this was the moment that I, I realized that I want to become a volleyball player, a big volleyball player. Okay. He gave me this, uh, this, uh, this um, feeling and maybe... This is the second most important things that helped me to become a volleyball player. Impressive, impressive. I, I know, I know. And um, for example, Joseph was very important. Petko Petkov or uh, yeah. Galabinov. I, I don't know. Dimo Tonev. He's, he's he's younger, but um, we could see now on YouTube, for example, the final in in Moscow, and we watched a a, a very very tall guys are very good players a very good team so so for me it's, it's a very interesting to talk with you that you also also play with with great players with 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 Kasiki with Ivanov Nikolai with Sokolov um, uh, 
so 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 for me i, I wanted to, to 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 ask you now um how was your first time the first time to uh, as a volleyball player maybe at school in, the, in your first club how was your evolution how was your your feeling in this time as a volleyball player uh so i start uh, to play in uh, Ceska, mm -hmm. uh sofia uh and uh, because i was a uh, very tall uh, they see the perspective of Uh, in me mm -hmm. and they took me in the men's team uh, when I was uh, 16 okay uh, I, I I really really was scared I, can say. <laughs> I, I was scared because yeah. at this time the the team was uh, with Joseph with Ganev with uh, uh, Nikki Ivanov was there uh, mm -hmm. uh, great players great players yes and uh, I I just say, okay, Evgeny, you are not like them. Mm -hmm. You probably one day, if you if you work enough, if you if you consist enough, you will become a player. But now you have to you have to watch them, you have to listen to them, and you have to to take everything you can from them. Mm -hmm. uh, so this this was my my first touch with the with the big volleyball. Mm -hmm. uh, then after. Um, We, uh, I was part of the team that uh, had maybe the biggest success in the Bulgarian volleyball history. We won the World Championship uh, Youth in Cairo 91. Okay. Uh, so this gave me the, the clear vision that uh, we have a possibility and we can, we can develop. We, I don't know if it's clear for you. Absolutely, absolutely. And I want yeah. to ask you um, about the, the, this the same topic. And why do you think um, having so great players, so tall players, so strong players, why do you think you couldn't achieve, for example, a world championship, an Olympic championship, an, an European championship? What do you think uh, um, was, was the, the thing about this? Uh, two, two things. First, mm -hmm. uh, um, Okay, we had a we had a very very nice good players mm -hmm. uh, and good team, but uh, in this time there was uh, there there also was a uh, very very good uh, other teams like uh, yes. USSR, Italy, like, uh, Brazil, Italy, Oof. Brazil, mm -hmm. yeah 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 the the um, um, oh I don't remember in English how is the word uh, anywhere it was really really difficult to achieve something to, to, to arrive uh, at the top yes uh, and then after um, we had a little bit problem with mentality okay. we are small we are small country mm -hmm. and uh, we always know that we have a um, limit of the human resources mm. uh, and okay you have a one two or five good players very good players but you don't have a bench yes mm. and during the volleyball if something goes wrong You don't have the substitution mm. of the players that is on the court. Mm. So I think that this is the main reasons that we couldn't achieve any any big. Uh, I understand. I understand. Yeah, as you as you're saying, it, it's very true. For example, in Russia, there are thousands or millions of players. In Brazil, there are thousands. I don't know. In, in the United States and Italy, uh, maybe it, it's one reason. Um, and, and, and I wanted to ask you now, uh, Evgeny, um, when did uh, you're playing in Seska now and Sofia? And in and, and, and this moment, you 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 realize that volleyball um, uh, would make would uh, be your 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 life, your career, or, 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 or maybe not not until this in this moment. Uh, but when I when I uh, arrived in the main team of Ceska, I mm -hmm. I realized that it could be my my okay. my profession, my life, uh, because I see that I am very very consistent person. Mm -hmm. If I if I want to to arrive somewhere, I will do everything possible. Okay. Uh, so I I didn't give up. I really had a chance to to learn from biggest from greatest player of Bulgaria at this time. I have also the, the opportunity to to be in the national team of Bulgaria very very young. Mm -hmm. So I I have the um, the experience the experience that you cannot learn experience you can take when you yes. are part of the big volleyball. Mm -hmm. And I, I I I become a part of this big volleyball. A very very young uh, of uh, very 
early age. And this give me the, the, the chance and this give me the, the thinking about uh, become a volleyball player. Perfect. And, and, and you played, um, as I watched in, in, in internet, that you also played in, in Italy and, in, in, I don't know, in, in other countries. How was this experience for you um, coming from Bulgaria, as you told me, from a, a small country in, in person, um, to go to the first volleyball clubs in the world? How was it for, uh, this experience for you? Uh, so uh, the club level of uh, in Bulgaria it, in this time it was good, but mm -hmm. it wasn't uh, very very high. Uh, so when I go, I first go my uh, first year abroad was um, in Greece, uh, in small team in Greece, mm -hmm. and uh, then then where uh, there I realized that uh, to go outside of your country, to go outside of your um comfort zone mm -hmm. uh, it's very very important but give you more motivation to grow up to to to, to develop yourself uh, and um, then after I, I I went to Turkey mm -hmm. and then after I, I went to Italy for three mm -hmm. years in Italy uh, I saw the the difference between real professional clubs mm -hmm. uh, and uh, It was it was good for me. I was I was very 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 happy mm -hmm. to have touch with uh, with Italian Championship, uh, and um, this helped me a lot also to do the, the my career in the national team because okay. I learned a lot a lot in Italy in France also because I played in France also in Poland in Russia. Absolutely, I get, I get uh, a lot from from every part of the of the world. <laughs> Fantastic! Yes, here in Chile we, we we can see this this these tournaments, this history, these teams, and, and we think, wow, it's it's impressive. The best players of the world playing uh, against each other and and and, ha and watching the Tifosi, and, and also I have the opportunity to to interview some players who played in in the second league in Italy, and they also told me that in Italy all the countries, all the all the the cities are, are, are crazy about volleyball, so. Um, yes, <laughs> it must have, must have been very impressive, and as you tell me, um, for uh, 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 gaining experience and growing as a player. Um, and I wanted to ask you now, um, Kenny, um, you you played as a middle blogger in a time yeah. where libido, I, I, I don't remember very well, started to be a, a, an option or, or not. Uh, but but how do you see um, the, um, uh, the difference between now? Because um, today, the middle blocker, he passes uh, on the net, then he serves. Maybe can, he can defense, but he go out. He go out. And in, in my time, in your time, the middle blocker, I remember Alexander Savin, um, Craig Back from the United States, many so big players and middle blockers um, must defense, must receive, must um, sometimes yeah, attack. Yeah. <laughs> how, how attack do you, from the second line. Yeah. Yes. For example, um, Bas van der Hoort from Netherlands, Henk van Held, uh, Igor Runo from Russia were very good uh, at um, back road attackers. How do you think, how do you, do you, do you, it's your opinion about this? Uh, volleyball changed a lot. Changed mm -hmm. a lot uh, 30 years ago when uh, when we start without libero, mm -hmm. uh, there was an option for us. We should receive, we should uh, defense, we should mm -hmm. do everything uh, as uh, other players. Yes. Uh, now uh, they start to to um, to specific the rule of every player on the court, and for me it's. Maybe take a little bit uh, the, the 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 charm of the volleyball mm. because now you have very specific uh, players with very specific um, um, skills mm -hmm. that if you take them out from their place, you try to put some in some other place, they can do nothing, almost mm. nothing. Uh, this is my opinion, yes. uh, but. Uh, We should uh, look at from the other part also. Volleyball mm -hmm. become very, very physical. Yes. Very, very, very fast. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe uh, watching in this uh, in this way, you should have players with specific skills mm -hmm. because if you want to have six players that can do everything, the level will go down. Yes, yes, I, I, I think I think similarity and and um, 
I also re remember, for example, that in the, the Bulgarian team from 1986 in the World Championship in, in France and Paris, um, I think I, I, I think um, um, I don't like no. I am. How can I say it? The, I, I like more the time when the mid blockers um, could receive an attack and defense. Okay, I, I did it the same. Um, but um, um, for example, I remember also that the, the tactics in this time were very very different. For example, I, I, as I was telling the Bulgarian team in '86, uh, for example, some players like Petkov or I don't know uh, Galabinov, uh, Dimotonov, they they attack in the middle, they attack over four, attack uh, back road. There was a yeah. mix, mix it in, in, in universe kind of players today as you tell me um, the middle block is only blocks in the middle the outside hit all the attacks in the outside or sometimes in, in the three meter line um, and 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 volleyball has changed so much um, it's more powerful and and you're two meter ten um, height and today yep. uh, um, you're we can watch many many teams that uh, two meter ten. It's not so big. It's big, but it's not the the, the yeah, biggest. Yeah, it's, it's not something exceptional. <laughs> I know, but in, in your time, you're in in Ghana, for example, where yep. two giants in, in 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 the country. One of the tallest volleyball player in this time. We were yes. one of the tallest tallest player. Absolutely, and 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 please tell me. Um, uh, Evgeny, um, when when you played um, around the world in World Cups and Olympic um, um, games, how was your, your your experience and how was your your feeling to 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 watch, um, for example, uh, that you could achieve more? We talked about this uh, um, a minute minutes before, but um, did you have some some tournaments you 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 could say, okay, this is my tournament, this tournaments we will win it um, or, or, or maybe not uh yeah there is one uh, <laughs> when we had the, the the biggest success of uh, mm -hmm. of our our generation it was uh, 2006 in uh, japan the world championship mm -hmm. uh in this uh, in this time uh we were the only team that beat brazilian brazilian was very, very yes with yeah, G, very, uh, very, all the stars yeah, yes and we we were the only team that beat them uh, during the, the 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 season, so I was almost at hundred percent sure that uh, if we arrive final final with Brazilian, we have uh, more chances to, to to beat them than than to lose. But uh, probably this was uh, the biggest mistake because mm. in the semi final yeah. we meet Poland, mm. but we think about the Brazilian already. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this was a mistake for us, and we lost with uh, with Polish team three one, and uh, it was really really sad. But uh, anywhere, then after on uh, third fourth place uh, match with the Serbian, we 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 get up again and yes. we beat them, and we we achieve the medal, bronze medal of the championship. But I can say that this was the tournament that mm -hmm. we couldn't we could we could uh, meet the, uh, arrive to the to the to the gold medal. Okay, fantastic memories, and, and and we have today the opportunity to to watch this game. We are talking thanks to technology, so it's fantastic to 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 our sport today. In, in our time, um, as we were speaking, especially in Chile and South America, we didn't have any any magazines or, or, or the TV only shows uh, football. So um, it was impressive. And I wanted to ask you, um, as we, for example, in Chile, we watched the Argentinian players, the Brazilian players, we wanted to play like them. We wanted to play like Ben Rachman, Raul Quiroga, I don't know. And do you have some some players you wanted to emulate or, 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 or you thought, okay, you want to play like this guy or, or maybe not? Do you have some idols uh, as young players? Uh, to play like, like somebody, never. I, I really appreciate my own style. Mm -hmm. I, I always want to be myself. But uh, I has I I have I idol and it was uh, Andrea Gianni. For okay. me, Gianni was a fantastic player, mm. and I always uh, watch him as a, as a semi god. 
<laughs> he's, he's fantastic. I, I, I have the opportunity to, to talk with him. I interviewed him and he's a great, great person, a gr super good player. And, and he told me um, the same as we're talking about the Libero. He, he was a universal player. He played in the middle, yeah, he yeah, played yeah. outside. He was a really universal player. Absolutely. And he told he had the, the, the same feeling about the Libero. The, the, the game today is very different. Um, but the, uh, um, for me, it's very, very impressive to 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 watch that um, players of, of our age of our decade think maybe similar about this. Um, um, even that we love volleyball and, and, and we 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 are so happy to watch all this kind of volleyball. And, and I wanted to ask you, Evgeny, now, um, when did you did you start thinking, or maybe not, about your your retirement? When did you did, did you do you thought about okay volleyball? Um, about your retirement, um, um, oh, yeah. when you would uh, um, stop playing volleyball, or, or, or was it because of something, maybe a, 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 a health? I don't know. <sighs> what, what was the was the time or, or the, the reason did you uh, stop playing volleyball? There is one very very specific reason. Uh, physically, I, I I didn't have any any problems. I, mm -hmm. I I could play many many years more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but um, last two years when I was abroad, abroad mm -hmm. uh, I was in Iran. Okay. Uh, and uh, I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, and they stay here. They stay in Bulgaria. And okay. I was there alone. And uh, we couldn't speak with them just uh, via computers. Mm -hmm. so, but uh, my small daughter, the, the small one, was, uh, I don't know, maybe two years old or something yeah. like this. And um, when the season finished in Iran, I, I come back to Bulgaria, but I didn't tell the, 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 the child that I'm coming. I, mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a surprise for them. So I arrived at the front door. I, I ring the bell. Mm -hmm. My small daughter opened the door. Just watch me and say, why you are here? My mm -hmm. daddy is on the computer. Okay. Okay. It, it was it was <laughs> terrible for me. It was <laughs> terrible for me. I say I don't want my child to remember me as a as a as a picture on the screen. Absolutely, absolutely. And it was the moment that I say, okay, I, okay. I quit. I can't do mm. anymore. Yeah. No. It, 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 it's it's impressive what you're telling me. Um, sometimes, many times, the children are our motivation, especially when, yeah, they're, yeah. when they're little. And, 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 and this time you, 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 you thought about, I wanted to ask you now about what you're doing now, about this ASIM group, or, 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 or it was later that you started with this project. Please tell me about this. Uh, it, was, it was later. Uh, mm -hmm. when, I, when I come back to Bulgaria, yeah. I finished my education. Mm -hmm. uh, and during this period, uh, I met um, in the university one no one, few very, very interesting person that mm -hmm. uh, uh, bring me in the world of the sports management. Okay. Uh, so there's uh, born the, 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 the idea of this kind of um, agency as a as SM group. Uh, we meet also with three other guys. I meet three other guys, mm -hmm. more or less with the same thinking. So we, we create this uh, this uh, agency. Okay. Uh, then after uh, we have a little bit, um, um, how to say, uh, different thinking. Yeah. Uh, and we separate with them. And uh, finally, uh, now I'm the only the, the only owner of the mm -hmm. of the SM group. Okay. And please tell me what what do you do in SM group? What what is your your work? Uh, it's uh, it's sports management uh, uh, agency, but mm -hmm. sports management uh, not as um, selling uh, sports rights or uh, yeah. working with the uh, with the players. Okay, this is a sports management of events, sports events. Okay, and yeah, this is the the the, the main purpose of this uh, agency. Perfect, and and, and, and um, as a as a owner of a sport management um, and group uh, uh, what do you think about Bulgarian volleyball today how do you see it in, in female in in, in, in male uh, teams um, not only clubs and in but uh, also in the the national teams because um we can watch the the youth team they're very successful 
but um, maybe uh, the, the 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 adult teams um, didn't uh, can reach uh, until now the, the 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 best places. What what's your opinion about this? Uh, it's uh, very interesting that um, I think that uh, uh, inside the championship, Bulgarian championship, national ch the championship, uh, rise his level. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the last 10 years, we always grow up and grow up and, and uh, become uh, the, the, the games and the clubs and the teams become more, more stronger. Uh, the, the championship is more interesting. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the international level, we lose a lot of uh, position. Okay. Uh, and we now, because I'm, I'm now working with the federation. Okay, yeah. In the federation, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, now we try to find where is the, the why we, we lose this. We have a very, very good youth teams with mm -hmm. very yes. successful uh, mm -hmm. players and, and achieved uh, in the results. But then after the transformation from the youth to, to men's uh, and uh, women's uh, mm -hmm. uh, teams, we, we missed somewhere. We, we missed something. Mm. And we really tried to realize where is the problem now because we, had a good, we have a good players, we have a good uh, kids, but we, don't can, we can't um, push them to the end. Yes, yes. And, and, and maybe, I, I, I don't know, but in, you're in Europe have so many good teams, so many good um, countries, volleyball countries. Here in South America, we have Brazil, we have Argentina, Colombia is, is growing, I don't know, Venezuela, but you know, Europe have over 30, I don't know, volleyball countries that are very strong, so the, the tournaments are very tough, and I understand maybe, um, as we tell, as we were talking before, about the, 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 the thousands of players who have other countries, and, and maybe you, you don't know, You don't. Um, so um, for me, it, it was very, very, um, always very interesting um, to watch Bulgarian volleyball, not only because um, you're in this time, they're very, very tall. It was very, very strange to watch so big guys, but also about the, 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 the way of volleyball. Um, I like, for example, the, 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 the mental strength or, or, or the, 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 the way you fight as a player. Um, We in, in South America maybe think maybe wrongly that um, the Europeans were very ice ice colded, were very 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 um, uh, not not uh, shouting as the Italy mm -hmm. the Latin players or the Brazilian the all the plays all the the games were a, a carnival a festival of emotions. But I watched it and, and, and I talk with with Nikolai or Dimo about. That in, in Bulgaria you also have this 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 uh, blood uh, passion in in, yeah, in yeah, your yeah. Hot, in your body, really hot, hot blood, and 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 it's very nice to see um, in the past and today the Bulgarian volleyball. So for me, it's it's very interesting to talk with you. I, I could watch it. You're um, playing, for example, in, in Argentina in the World Championship in 2002. You have also a very good, good, good team, a very powerful team, and. I wanted to ask you um, um, again about uh, your opinion. Um, uh, you told me that, for example, um, the World Cup in 2007 for for you as a player and as a team was very important. But I wanted to ask you um, about that. Sometimes, uh, um, for me, it was so. Um, you played a, a, a tournament or, or, or a game and, and you thought, okay, I played very, very well. I feel so comfortable, but I didn't win. Do you have some some tournament that you say, okay, this was fantastic for me, but we didn't win or, or maybe not? Do you have some some memories about this? Uh, probably there is a lot. I can I can tell you, I can't tell you now something specific, but... Mm -hmm. um, This is uh, this is our sport. Our sport. Uh, mm. We can we can finish a pair, or you or win or lose. Yes. And uh, I I realized a uh, long long time ago that um, uh, the sports is very okay. Let's say very easy <laughs> <laughs> because when you when you lose, you know that even if you give everything you could, if you lose, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So you go you go back to the gym, you start to, to play and to, to, to practice harder and harder and harder to become better. 
to give more the next time, yeah. to have more opportunity to, to, to win. So, um, yes, there's a lot of, of times that we, we lose and, and we do everything, we give our best, but yes. it wasn't enough. Mm. Mm. I understand, I understand. And, and, and uh, we can uh, um, watch today uh, via internet, via Facebook, to know um, what you're doing in the Federation. And I can watch that um, sometimes there are uh, Ganev, Lubomir Ganev as a president, there are Timo Tornev, there are you, Joseph, many great, fantastic players from the past that are helping and working with the Federation. So I, 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 I wish you many success in, in this project and, and hope that sometimes Bulgaria will uh, achieve gold or silver, I, I don't know, in, in Olympics or, or world, world tournaments. And, and I wanted to ask you about your Olympic experience. How was it for you to play um, Olympic Games? Because um, as, as, uh, as we uh, watch, for example, for soccer or football, The Olympic is not very important. Um, the World Championship we watched it, um, recently is is the most uh, uh, it's the highlight of, of football. But for verbal, I think the Olympics are are is the highlight. How was your Olympic experience and and as a player? Uh, for me, the Olympic are the peak in the mm -hmm. career of, of one volleyball player. Yes, uh, I have been uh, in. Two Olympic Games um, mm -hmm. in uh, Atlanta, 1996, and in uh, Beijing, 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, something interesting that you didn't, uh, don't know. Um, I, I want to finish my career in the volleyball, in the national volleyball, okay. uh, in the national team uh, with the Olympic Games. Yeah. Uh, so, but after Atlanta 1996, we missed uh, 2000 in, uh, um, in Sydney. In Sydney, mm -hmm. 2004 in Athens, mm -hmm. and I was really disappointed. Mm -hmm. But uh, even I, I quit. I quit for the 2007. I say, okay, I'm I'm retiring from the national mm -hmm. team. I, I can't do anymore. Uh, but then after I realized that uh, we had a chance to, to qualify for the 2008. Mm -hmm. So I come back <laughs> to the national team again. And uh, I was very, very happy that um, have been part of uh, Olympic delegation in, uh, in Beijing. And then after I, I retired from, from the national team. It was, it was my, as, as, how to say, my, my dream to finish like this. Okay. okay, maybe we didn't, uh, we had a problems there and we couldn't achieve something, but uh, just to be part of, of the Olympics uh, Games, it was enough for me. Fantastic, I understand. Um, Kenny, um, as I told you before, or, or outside the interview, I'm, I'm very honored to talk with you because um, my intention with these interviews, with this conversation, is to show the world, and especially the young players that And before them, before now, there was so many volleyball um, around the world, but so many great players. And um, I try also to 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 show that um, volleyball is not only in Italy, not only in Poland. We have many good volleyball in Bulgaria and in, in, in France and Spain and in, in many many countries. So for All me, it, it, exactly. Um, for me, it's a big honor to 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 know you, to talk with you, and I wanted to thank you for your time. Um, We have many hours of, of difference here in Chile uh, with Bulgaria, but uh, for me, it, it, it's a joy to, to know you, to have the opportunity to talk with you. So I wanted to thank you again for your time and um, to, be, to be able to talk with me. So um, I wanted to send you many wishes, success wishes, as I told you before, with the Federation, with your ASEM group. So um, it, it was a pleasure for me to talk to, with you and, and I want to, to thank you again. Thank you, thank you, Alfredo. Also, I hope you, uh, you will you will continue to do your 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 best because mm -hmm. I, I saw the page and it's really really impressive. And in Bulgaria, we say like we say like this: if you don't know from where you come, you never arrive where you want. So uh, mm -hmm. it's very important to to young players to to understand uh, to know the history of the volleyball, to know mm -hmm. what's what's can been before them. Exactly. I, 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 I have a little history. I interviewed um, uh, Marcelo Negrao from Brazil, mm -hmm. Olympic champion, very, yeah, yeah, very yeah. fantastic guy. He played. 
in, in, in Barcelona, I don't know, he, he played in the 90s. Um, I, I interviewed him and he told me he's now a, a trainer that many of his, of, his, of his players didn't know him as a player. So he, he showed him the videos about his time as a player and they, to, and they, they tell him, wow, that's you playing? It's impressive. So um, um, for me, it, it, I cannot understand this, that, that the, 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 the actually players didn't know the past of the country and, and especially so great players. For, so maybe um, humble, in a humble way, I try to do the same to, to show the, 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 the people around the world that um, like you, there are so great players that um, I think must be, be 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 shown and exposed to to the, to the media because you're part of the history. We're making history in volleyball, and that's for me so so important. Um, many many thanks, Evgeny, and I send you the best wishes, wishes from Chile to you, your family, and and all the Bulgarian volleyball players. Thank you, thank you, Alfredo. Fantastic. Thank you very much.